It is October the 10th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report today. And we did swing by uh, today down uh, at the south end of St. Simons, and we, we got a few shots here. We could see that the VB now has moved, actually moved farther south than where Section 4 is. It's past Section 4. Uh, so we'll continue to watch. Here we can see it's, it's off to the left, which is in a southerly direction from the, from the wreck piece. And it's there and sitting there. But I guess we really we need to turn our attention to this piece right here, this last section of the Golden Ray, as it is now slated to be lifted. And hopefully we'll see that begin very soon. I know they got to take some weight off of it before they, before they start it. And you know when we went by section six, we we got a kind of an idea. Uh, when we're looking in there, we could see uh, here a couple of those vents that would have been alongside the top of the ship that were underneath, and you can see just how packed full of silt and sand these things are. And we remember Section 5 and what it looked like when it came out of the water with part of it missing. And we know that that part's still in the water uh, right behind Section 4. What kind of shape are we going to expect to see Section 4 in when it comes out of the water? Uh, it's been in there a long time. There's been a lot of accumulation of silt and sand and we, we saw by the damage that occurred to Section 5 uh, and even Section 6, how they had kind of rolled uh, the metal, the side of it uh, had rolled where it was sitting on the seabed and uh, started to, you could see where it was starting to suffer some damage from that tremendous amount of weight of the Golden Ray just kind of sitting on it for two years. As the process begins to unfold, you know, we start to think about this last section coming up and what kind of what kind of shape we can expect it to be in. Now, we've had discussion about the, the strength of the ship towards towards the top uh, of those those roll on roll off car carriers is not as strong as it may appear. I know it looks tough, steel, but it's thin material. It doesn't have a lot of side bracing or uh, pieces to actually hold those hold those sides of the ship in. There's no significant bulkheads in the ship. It can't be there, again, because of the way the ship has to be loaded. It has to be open uh, for uh, the, the speedy loading and unloading of vehicles onto its and off of its decks. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out when uh, Section 4 is lifted. Do they have an idea of what it looks like? I suspect they do. Um, you know, they, they, they have a, a very a skilled crew of divers. Uh, I'm sure that it's been looked over and uh, they have uh, evaluated. Will it stay together? Uh, we shall see. Uh, that's coming up. I'm very curious uh, what your thoughts are on Section 4 as it begins to come up. You know, the last section, we know there's still some vehicles aren't, again, the weight shedding has to take place. We're, we're expecting to see that begin soon on that freshly cut end of Section 4. So, I guess it's kind of a wait and see, but... Is it a wait and see and we expect situation? I'm very curious. Let me know what the Menorcan Navy thinks about all that. Well, hey, that's going to do it for the report today. Uh, we'd like to ask you if you haven't done it yet to click on that subscribe link. Give us some thumbs up. And let's start commenting. Let's start the dialogue here about Section 4. I want to, I'm very curious what, what the rest of the Navy thinks about it. They've, You guys have been watching this long enough and I think have a pretty good idea what to expect. What are you thinking out there? You let's let's get that going, and you know, I want all you guys to stay safe out there.